What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre, and today I'm going to be doing an update on BBIG ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with some fundamental news that might affect the price of this ticker. And at the end of this video, I will show you my forecast for the probable price action. So let's start with the charts. I made my previous video right here at this point and I've told you that uh, if uh, you are risky enough you can add your position on every red candle and basically this candle appears uh, right after I made my video and this was the lowest point and my main assumption was if this pivot holds our target might be as high as 0.786 extension level and this extension is uh, 78.6% from the third wave in fifth wave from the lowest point to the highest one. But for those of you who follow my channel for quite some time, you already know if uh, we break uh, this lowest point, we have to adjust uh, this tool like this. And this was our lowest point. And somewhere in this candle, you could load your long position. And our main target uh, becomes uh, at the level of 11.27 but uh, my main target was uh, right here at $10 mark and from this point from the point where I made my video you potentially might be up uh, in worst case scenario definitely you might be up uh, for about 30% uh, of potential profits and uh, depending on where you enter your position right here you might be up uh, for up to 76% and uh, for those of you who know that uh, the most common ratio between third wave and fifth one is 0.786, you might be even more profitable up to 100%. But uh, definitely my main goal was uh, to hit uh, the price target of $10 and uh, it is uh, more than 30% of potential profits. And uh, shout out to all of you guys who took this trade and who are a risk taker. Because uh, without these risks, you cannot uh, rely on uh, rewards. And basically it happened. And uh, in uh, several minutes, I will show you what to expect next from uh, this token. But first of all, let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. And let's start with the company profile. Vinca Ventures leverages uh, the new market opportunity by utilizing their BIG strategy. Buy, innovate, grow. And they have two main catalysts. From the fundamental standpoint uh, that might drive uh, the price of uh, this uh, company up first of all is uh, their acquisition of lamotive and second one is uh, their nft activity and all of these uh, two catalysts in my opinion cannot lead uh, to higher price actions uh, with this uh, company and let me show you their numbers for now they have a total market cap of uh, 430.41 million dollars they have a revenue of $13.91 million with a negative net income of $250.94 million. They have a total cash position of $75.65 million with a total debt of $5.75. So their financials are rather decent, but the main concern is right here, their negative net income. And this might be a potential red flag to invest in this company for the long term. On top of that, let me show you some news. We are on Seeking Alpha and this article was published on September the 1st and it's titled Vinca Ventures sales to new high as momentum stays strong. And let me quote you these two bullets. Vinca Ventures is rallying again in morning trading and carved uh, out a new high of uh, $11.9 earlier in the session on sky high volume. Trading on BBIG has already been halted twice this morning due to volatility. And second one, Vinca Ventures continues to be a meme favorite with the stock uh, the most uh, cited on the stock tweets uh, platform. The relative strength index on Vinca Ventures is blazing hot uh, at 75. Vinca Ventures trades with a market uh, cap of uh, $497 million versus the $2.7 million in Q2 revenue it reported last week. So, as you can see, even right here, we have a mentions about the uh, relative strength index and I will show you in my analysis why it is so important. But let's continue with this article. We are on a market insider and uh, this article was published on September the 1st and it's titled 
Day traders seeking the next GameStop are eyeing memestocksupport.com and Winco Ventures as possible short squeeze candidates, but one expert says the pair's further upside is limited. And let me quote you these bullets. Memestocksupport.com and Winco Ventures may see a short squeezes, but they won't send the stock prices flying to the moon, GameStop style. That's according to one market ex expert who noted that the amount of uh, shares shorted in each stock is relatively small in contrast to average trading volume of the stocks. His analysis comes as the day traders continue to bet on meme stocks uh, Winco Ventures and Support.com. And I completely agree with this opinion because for now even fundamentals shows us that uh, you shouldn't uh, try to catch uh, this uh, next potential trade that might be in a foreseeable future. And let me show you the main catalyst. We are on uh, kiverkan.com and this uh, website tracks all the activity on the Wall Street Bets community. And we still have uh, BBIG ticker right here, but it is uh, third from the bottom of this list. And let me show you the number of mentions. And the number is lower than 100. And uh, as you can see, we have a lot of tickers that are highly above the BBIG ticker. And that's why you have to be extremely cautious. On top of that, if we will take a look uh, on their institutional owners, we have uh, several recent filings and uh, some of uh, YouTubers already pointed uh, that uh, Vanguard uh, just added uh, the position on August the 30th. But I have to say it is only the file date, not the actual date uh, of uh, their purchase. And uh, if you want to know what is the average price uh, of uh, its position, of one guard's position, just divide the value right here of this column by number of shares. And if you do it by yourself, you can uh, find that the average price of one guard uh, fund is around uh, $3.9. And let me show you that for now. We are hovering at around uh, 8.97 and their average price is right here, right below $4 mark and they made this uh, purchase somewhere at these points. And uh, that's why I encourage you not to enter the position as a potential long-term holder, especially right here. So, and uh, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as you can see, we've finished all five waves and uh, uh, five waves on a smaller scale, it is only one wave on a greater scale. This means we have to retrace not only this wave from this bottom to this top, it is the fifth wave, but we have to retrace the entire movement from this bottom to this top. And to do so, let me clean the chart a little bit. To do so, I pull a Fibonacci retracement tool from this bottom to this very top. And we have following targets, potential targets, if we will see a continuation, a trend continuation. The major target is uh, 0 0.65, 0 0.618. It is a golden pocket. And uh, this target is lower than our current price for more than... Uh, 37 percent so in my opinion you have to wait if you want to catch the next potential long trade but let me show you indicators as you can see on four hours time frame we have a bearish divergence and bearish divergence is the pattern when you can see lower highs on rsi with the higher highs on the price section this means we might have a trend reversal and uh, from this point we might go lower and in my opinion uh, when the support uh, from Wall Street Bets community becomes uh, lower, we will see a fading volume right here, and this will lead us uh, to massive sell offs of this stock. So, and that's why you have to be extremely cautious. Next one, if I switch to daily time frame, as you can see, RSI is extremely overbought at uh, 86.49 points. This means it has to be unloaded. And in my opinion, if uh, this asset will have one more attempt to go to the upside, it won't be so significant. And the downside potential is uh, much more favorable than the upside potential. That's why I highly recommend you not to enter your position even for the short term gains. Because in my opinion, for now, this asset has much more chances to go lower than to go higher. And uh, as usual, I might be completely wrong. I just want to warn you because in my opinion all indicators and uh, all fundamental news show us that uh, we might go lower 
and that's why I don't want uh, you to enter your position with this stock. So, from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!